<laughs> okay. Uh, chill. I need to chill. I need to chill. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, it's Casey. Today, we're going to talk about My Hero Academia Season 3, Episode 1. And as you can tell from the title, Mm. Let's just get right into this. I'm not using pictures because I'm afraid I'll get a copyright strike for saying bad things about something. Alright, uh, where should we start? The biggest thing I didn't like was the recaps. Unnecessary, disappointing, and frankly a little bit insulting. Like, do you really think we don't remember the most important events from the first two seasons? Okay, maybe it's been a year for some people, but like usually when a new season of something is coming out, don't most of us go back and watch stuff or like read a summary online somewhere instead of like waiting and hoping for a recap episode. Nobody awaits the first episode of a new season being like, man, I hope it's a recap episode so I can remember everything that happened. Like nobody does that. If you don't remember it, then you go back and try to find it. So like that felt unnecessary and very disappointing because I was really hoping they'd go forward with the plot because you know, like they leave us a lot of cliffhangers, you know? I want the plot to get going. I don't want them to like reminisce in the most like unnatural way possible. Like does anybody like sit down at a pool like while you're exercising being like, wow, remember that time we fought Stain? What a time. Why does this particular incident remind them of everything that's happened to them over the past year or so? Midoriya's like, wow, I'm training once again, so let me flash back to my entire journey. Like, does he do that every time he exercises? But they just read each other's minds and all simultaneously think, what great heroes we're gonna be. <laughs> that's normal. If you're here laughing in the background, it's my sister. So. Anyways, but just very unnatural and unnecessary. And then there was the quirk summary thing, which I might understand because like some of the characters aren't important, but then some of them don't become important in the season. So why would you review the entire like class A? Just not necessary. Like if we don't remember their quirk, we can just look it up. It's really easy to Google. And then the other thing is that like almost every time like a character like appears for the first time, they have that little like Thing in the corner that tells you their name and their quirk. So like, why do we need that? It just felt like a lot of like wasting time this episode. And then to fill up the excess time between the recap, they had this pool episode. Like, no, that shouldn't be there. Save that for like an OVA or like, you know, leave that to the fans. Like they'll draw fan art, they'll draw like doujinshis or like whatever, like write a fanfic about it. That stuff's everywhere. It's like, we don't need that in canon. Like, don't put that there. Oh my goodness. It just felt like a lot of fan service because of course they just had to have all the guys like shirtless. Cause if the girls, you know, standard issue bathing suit is a full body suit, how come they don't have the same thing for the guys? It doesn't make sense. And the thing is, all my social media right now is flooded with people just being like, oh my gosh, she's so hot. Why? Why? I don't want that. If I wanted to look at hot fan art, I would just Google hot Midoriya. Hot. Midori. No, don't do it. Oh god, yeah, okay, see? That's so easy. If they're gonna just fill it with like meaningless fluff, I'd rather have it be like interesting fluff. Like don't try to jam pack the entire class. That's like not a good move because then barely anybody gets focused and then they try to do a little bit of focus on the main like four guys, but you could have done that a different way. That would let us see more of them and like no one's like coming to the episode like, man, I'm dying to see Ojiro. Like, no. Like, why? Do they have to put all the like minor characters in there like just squeeze them all in. That's not necessary. And like, no one's like, oh man, I hope Blood King gets a speaking role in the first episode. No one's thinking that. Like, why? I don't put it in the first episode where everyone was like, oh my gosh, I hope something exciting is gonna happen. This is so exciting. Like, finally, we waited a whole year for this. Mm, it doesn't make sense, okay? Oh yeah, and they also did that really annoying tease where they're like, which protagonist is the most powerful? Let's have them race. And then they tease it and then don't actually have it happen, which is like kind of annoying and cliche, but Whatever, that's okay. And also, instead of jumping in the water, couldn't Midori have just like jumped to the other side of the pool? Yeah, but he's not a cheater. Then the other thing about the characterization in this episode was the opening part with Shigaraki and Kurugiri, and it's just like, hi bad characterization 101, have one character tell us everything about the other character, because we don't remember him from the first season even though he's the main bad guy, and you know, he's like such a dull character, you know, we might not remember him, or what he's like, or his whole thing about All Might, even though that's like basically the note they ended the last season on. Huh, who could this Shigaraki guy be? Like, you know, this guy with a hand on his face. I have no idea, I completely forgot. Like, no, we know who Shigaraki is, and we know he hates All Might, and we know he hates Midoriya, but then we still have Kurogiri being like, 
Yeah. He hates All Might and uh, this Midoriya kid, he's like the exact opposite of Shigaraki. No way. Midoriya and Shigaraki are foils? Like, thanks. Thanks for telling us that. We couldn't figure that out on our own. Why? As you can kind of tell, I feel sort of insulted by this episode because they're telling me that you don't remember what happened in the first and second season, so you need a recap. Then, you are only watching the show for hot teenage boys, so we're gonna put a pool episode. They could have just as easily made it like a field, like training in a field and a racing in the field. Like that could have been exactly the same. And we're not smart enough to remember key points about Shigaraki's personality. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. You guys let me know in the comments uh, what you thought of this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos also. I don't like more. And bye. Is that too weird? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bye. What face like sums up my feelings? <laughs> God, no. <laughs> That doesn't? Mm. No one's gonna click on that. <laughs> That's a place of nightmares. <laughs>